All right. Uh, yep, let's get started. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks, Rodolfo, for the vibe in the chat box. Uh, let's get started with Tuesday. We're on the second day of week 11. And uh, yesterday, I believe everyone managed to do their presentation. And now we are just going to do our uh, our routine updates. Just tell us what have you been to since yesterday and what are you going to be working on today? And uh, also let us know if there are any blockers or any support or any point of discussion you have and you would like to use this time uh, for that specific conversation with your fellows. So let's get started. Uh, we will start with people who are very sharp and uh, willing to share their updates now. Any volunteers, you raise your hand and then we will go as you follow each other on the queue. So we already have one person. Let's get five. We are just starting. We have Alexander and Aya. Next three, then Rodolphe. Amazing. Let's keep going. More two people. We are getting started. So let's get enough. Yes, Basilel and then Miss Gano. All right. That's super cool of you guys. Very, very sharp. So let's get started with Alexander and then Aya and then uh, Rudolf, Basilel, and then Miss Carol. Alexander, the floor is yours. Okay, yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, you, Pascalin. Good morning. Okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, I was read. Uh, more resources related to LLA applications and the customized one, which is the retrieval uh, augmented generation. So I try to understand uh, any articles, uh, papers, and blogs, and iterate on the media. I try to understand it, see that, uh, see the uh, related projects that are worked on. Uh, Different using different LLMs for a production purpose. I try to understand, uh, and I'll begin to write uh, my article in the night because uh, we have uh, some more experience in retrieval augmented generation. Uh, I think we have do we have, we have done uh, more than two projects. Uh, so the concept is not. Uh, Far apart to me. Uh, today I plan to uh, work on the technical part. Uh, so uh, till to the morning now, I prepare uh, my environment for doing the technical one, uh, and I plan to go for tomorrow's delivery as much as possible, and I read uh, some articles. I will read some articles that need me more uh, clarification about the issue of lazy uh, company that held in Addis uh, So I try to understand much more about the company. My broker is, I'm not well understand the data because uh, I think we need uh, to two data sets. One is for a source, the other is for uh, questions or with answers. And we give, uh, or we provide the context for the LLM, that's enough. But there are four data sets available. If me, anyone is uh, interested or anyone have an idea, the need for uh, the need of four data sets, uh, please let me. Uh, to answer this question regarding to my priorities, this is thank you. Okay, Alexander, thank you for a detailed update. Uh, let us know, of course, when you face any blocker or need any support. So let's move on to AI. Uh, good morning, Pascalin, and everyone. Good morning. Uh, so yesterday, uh, I've gone through some of the uh, provided documents. 
uh, including the evaluation uh, data set. Um, as Alex said, uh, the, the concept of RAG uh, is not new, uh, new to us. Uh, so the objective is to optimize uh, the whole RAG system. And to do that, there are uh, some components that we need to work on, uh, starting from the retriever and then uh, the generator. Uh, I have kind of a blocker, uh, which is related to the document. Uh, in the previous uh, projects, I used uh, a PDF document and the Ubuntu LibreOffice doesn't really, uh, it's not compatible with uh, Microsoft Word. So uh, how can I kind of get the, the data uh, to uh, use it? Uh, 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 yeah, I can convert it into PDF uh, directly from the a Google Drive, maybe that would help, but I think one of the requirements is it should get uh, a Word document. Uh, that's a kind of uh, a blocker. Um, to answer Alexander's question, uh, I believe we have uh, four documents, uh, two for the context and two for uh, the evaluation, that's for the ground truths. So we need to somehow uh, manipulate those documents to uh, generate a kind of data set for uh, evaluation. So the, for, the, for the context, you just have to read the two contract documents uh, and you split, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, that's my update. Uh, today, I, uh, I already have started using the documents but I will, I will try to um, optimize the retriever first and later on the uh, generator. Yeah, thank you. All right, keep it up here. Yeah. I think I missed you on the, on, the, on the blocker you mentioned that you have. Can you uh repeat that again and would you like us to discuss about it now yeah uh i i, I uh, post it on uh, slack uh it's kind of decrypted it's not reading the the microsoft word uh in LibreOffice. office uh, there is no microsoft office in ubuntu uh, that that's kind of uh the problem but yeah, I will. I will yeah. try to convert it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you can use the lang language chain community library in order to work uh, with um, document files. That's, yeah, yeah. I can. I can work. I can work on okay. the document, but it's it's not giving me the the characters. The characters are not uh, English. They are like symbols. When, when I open the document, which means it's not going to uh, read it. But yeah, I can I can work on the, I mean, I can upload or uh, the doc file as a context. That, that was not the problem. Can, can, can you check, check and split the, the text? Yes, but I couldn't find that particular uh, text. It's, okay. uh, I think, the first question. The answer, uh, I think Alexander replied to me, uh, it says uh, answer is no. So I kind of manually do that also. Yeah. But d don't worry, I will, I will figure it out. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, hello, Yaya. Yeah. Yeah, um, I have a thought. Uh, may may maybe you just converted the, the document to PDF to get the yeah. whole the whole content for your information yeah. and now yeah. you can you can use the 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 microsoft document with the you import them you load them with the Langchain library yeah. and you yeah. work on that so then you don't yeah. need necessarily to 
to open with the lab office yeah that that's that's uh, what i'm gonna try yeah okay good thank you rudolf you're welcome yeah. okay thank you so much for the support let's continue with Ru rudolf of course uh, okay good morning pascaline and everyone i hope you guys are very well uh, so my update will be very quick uh, yesterday uh, after the tutorial uh, and or the presentation with uh, Lizzie AI. Um, I started reading the the document, the challenge document, and I spent more time on one of the article, which I think is a uh, uh, is an important for for my understanding uh, regarding the the advanced rag and the modular rag. And uh, I didn't finish yet. I'm, at the same time, I'm trying to summarize what I'm arranging so that it could be uh, part of my deliverable for tomorrow. And uh, today, what I'm planning is to, to continue that and finish if possible. And uh, uh, set up my, uh, yesterday also I set up my environment. And today um, I'm planning to, to build a naive rag because we have already experiences in rag it won't be difficult so i will do that and after that style uh, experience uh, how to how to optimize uh, this one and uh, play with the different components to to optimize the uh, rag to meet uh, the, the need of the uh, of the channel so thank you guys and i wish you to have a productive day Thank you, Rudolf. Have a productive day as well. Uh, let's continue to Basile. Uh, all right. Hey, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Good morning. Good morning, Pascaline. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so yesterday was just about uh, understanding, as as almost all of you said. Uh, Rag is not new, but certainly when we do it the, the, first, the second time, then they're going to expect something you know, it is expected that we do something that's different, more accurate, more precise than the first one. So just been trying to research on the different components and see uh, which parts can be best used, which ones can be changed from last time and yeah, you know, what things that we have to do different. Yeah. So basically it was a research day and hopefully today I will start some sort of implementation, uh, although not a full scale implementation, but just something that is uh, functional, hopefully. Yeah. And that's my update. All right. Amazing puzzle. I'll keep it up for today. Uh, then let's have Ms. Gano. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay. So, yeah, my update for yesterday, it is. Uh, yeah, more or less the same with my friends. I was focusing more on the, on the more on understanding the challenge document. So I try to go into it. I try to understand the tasks and the variables of the week. Then I started with task one, which is uh, which is looking into resources and trying to understand the concept. So I try to understand how we how we can use vector storage uh, and how we can implement RAG using LangChain. I think previously, yeah, we have implemented RAG, but uh, I didn't use LangChain. So my plan for this week is to use LangChain. So I try to look into it. Yeah, uh, and for today, my plan for today is yeah, to continue my research and if possible, start with the implementation, some implementation and yeah, so that's my plan. Thank you, Pascal. All right, Ms. Gano, thanks for sharing and keep it up for today. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool to everyone who shared. Let's proceed with more five people who are ready to share their progress and any points of discussion. Let's raise our hands. Hello. All 
All right, uh, we got Lillian on the queue. Let's have more people. We have Abdullah Mid Musa. And let's have more people as well. Okay. Uh, Lillian, you can take the floor in the meantime. Okay, thank you, Pastor Hello, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. Um, yesterday, I've been reading on the challenge documents. I was researching and trying to get more understanding of what the business need is. And yes, my colleagues and teammates said we've worked on work, so I was trying to deepen my knowledge on that sector. And uh, today I'm planning to start the implementation. And that's it so far. Thank you, guys. All right, keep it up, Lillian. Any blockers? Any point of discussion? Uh, no, thank you. All right, uh, let's continue with uh, Musa. Good morning, everyone. So Good morning. Yeah, yesterday I went over the challenge document and looked at what, what we are supposed to do for this week. And uh, then I tried to research into Langchain. Uh, I, I used Langchain before, so I wanted to try something new. And also I'm trying to look at Llama Index and try to see if, if it's a fit for this project. Uh, besides that, yeah, uh, I have I've looked at the data and hopefully I'll have something uh, starting with uh, implementation today. Thank you. All right, Musa, uh, keep it up with the implementation. Let's hear from Fenwell. Hi, Ms. Uh Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, yesterday, uh, as everyone said, uh, I've also done some research on it. I mean, the challenge is not new, so it's mostly strengthening the, my knowledge on it and, you know, trying to implement the things that I didn't get to implement last time. So I've been trying to do that. And so today I'm planning to implement a bare minimum rack system and I'm trying to test it out with Ragas. So hopefully I'll finish that and try to work on the interim submission. That's my report for today. Amazing, Fenuel. Great progress, keep it up. Uh, then we move on to Kerod. Good morning, everyone. Um, so yeah, as everyone said, I was just going through the materials that were given to us, and uh, it definitely is more interesting than the first one. I think it's because uh, we have a solid ground understanding. We have a solid understanding of what we are going to do and what's expected. So yeah, uh, I'm, I have a good feeling about it. And uh, for today, I plan to start working on the technical side, at least work on the minimum del deliverables. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I will get done. And I think Abdul Hamid, uh, did I hear you mention uh, Lambda as your framework? Uh, Llama index. Yeah, I don't think uh, that's what the doc says. I think they are expecting us to work on Langchain. I think it's be better if you check out the, the document. Okay. Just give, yeah, just give, giving you a heads up. All right, thank you. All right, okay. Goodbye. All right. Thanks, Carol, for that heads up. I think uh, uh, even not only Musa, that everyone else got it, who was getting it wrong. So yeah. All right. Thank you. Let's move forward to the next batch of people who are ready to share. We have Elias on the queue, very sharp, and then we have Addis. We have Meron. Amazing. Yep, let's keep raising our hands. 
And then, uh, Elias, you can go ahead. And le let's have that point of discussion. So if you have anything in mind that you want us to use this time to discuss about. Good morning, guys. I'm Adel. Yes, you are. Uh, just like my team, my, team, my friend said, uh, yesterday, Monday is pretty much about understanding business needs and the challenge document. And uh, I went through the challenge document and tried to understand what's the business need and what's, uh, what should I give special attention to because it's this. Uh, New, it's not new for us. What uh, challenge? What challenge I faced in the last one, and what should I do about it? And so, uh, I try to compare uh, the different vector databases that I can use, and which one is the optimum, and which one is the that I should use for this. Uh, and I, I try to went through the data source. And but I try uh, while researching, I try to give uh, special attention to the evaluation part because that was the main part that I was having some uh, difficulty last time. So I tried to read on Vagas and try to implement a simple RAG system for question and answer using Langchain. That's uh, what I've done yesterday and today. Uh, I want to go on the research more and try to uh, start some implementation too and try to work on the deliverables on the report too. Thank you. All right, Elias, uh, the microphone was not positioned well, but I believe we got, uh, we got what you are up to. Yeah, so let's move on to Addis. Thank you, Pascalina. Good morning, guys. Am I audible? Yes, good morning, Gadis. You are, you are audible. Okay, thank you. So uh, yesterday uh, was a productive day. Uh, I reviewed the challenge documents and got a good understanding of uh, the business need as, as well as the goal of the project. And also, uh, I will uh, try to uh, review uh, a few of the resources and dive deep uh, on the language chain and the whole uh, RAG pipeline. And uh, today I am planning to start working on the implementation and uh, start writing the reports. Yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you. Okay, let's keep it up with uh, the reports. Yep, uh, let's hear from Meron. Good morning, Pascaline and everyone. Uh, yesterday, I was uh, reading the challenge document to understand the tasks, and I have got more understanding about RAG. Uh, I was trying to read uh, the documents given in the challenge document, like RAGAS, and today I have a plan to read about RAG evaluation and I will try to type the code. Thank you. Well, amazing, Meron. Uh, keep it up with the implementation today. Yep, uh, let's hear from more people. We are looking at Abraham, Tesfe, Aaron, Birehan. Daniel, Nikias, Mubarak. All right, yes, Nikias. Others also, let's get ready to share our updates. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Good morning. Yes, we can. So yesterday, after attending the lectures, I was looking at the document and trying to understand the business object to the project. And I think I successfully did that. After that, what I did was trying to set up the repository on GitHub. And this time I wanted to use Docker so that uh, for the whole uh, front-end and back-end part, 
so the whole day I, I had some uh, issues related with that especially after making the front end uh, fully dockerized uh, live reloading was not working so i had to figure out that and i did and for the back end as well i was able to make it uh, fully dockerized so uh, i successfully did that and uh, after that i think when i went home there was no electricity so i wasn't able to do much after that but i reached out to my group mates uh, and checked their progress so that we can brainstorm in the future uh, while working on this task so that's what i did today i plan to go over the document in detail the resources especially and then try to implement uh, try to start uh, the tasks so that's my progress all right, Mikias, keep it up. Any blockers? Uh, like I told you, the electricity, hopefully, okay. it will be see fixed. Other than that, everything is good. Yeah. Find a way to be managing it. I mean, just find out, just in case it doesn't come back anytime yeah. soon. Yeah, I'm yeah. using some public places. Okay, that is great. Uh, let's move on to Abraham Tesfi. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear Good me? Morning. Yep, we can. Okay. Uh, so uh, yesterday uh, I was not able to do much. Uh, I was caught up with something. Uh, but later, later night I tried to uh, skim over the document and. Uh, figure out what's uh, expected from us for this week's challenge and I uh, somehow got an idea of it. I, I will try to catch up today uh, for, the, for the rest of the project and uh, its workings. Uh, I hope to go over that for, for today. That's what I have in plan. All right, amazing, Abraham. Keep it up as well. Uh, let's hear from a few people who haven't shared yet. I'm looking at Aaron, Daniel, Birahan. I guess you also haven't shared yet. Yep, and Mubarak. Uh, have you heard me? Sorry. Yeah, we can, Aaron. Go ahead. Yeah, yesterday I was trying to understand uh, the all document challenges, but it has some uh, misunderstanding of brokers. But I have implemented the RAG pipeline uh, for the first draft, and I try to set up the back end and the front end for, the, uh, for this project. Uh, <laughs> there is a broker in challenge document uh, in task two. Uh, that, that's, that's about the integration and testing. Uh, anyone who calls to me, that's database storage and performance optimization. I have uh, not understand well. Uh, anyone can tell me I'm ready to hear them. This is all about uh, my progress. Sure. Uh, thanks for sharing, Aaron. Uh, Aaron also has a question in the chat box. Yeah, I have not understand the challenge uh, in task two the, about the API and the test integration, uh, how to secure and optimize the database and how we need the uh, database. Anyone can tell about this? Sure, anyone who wants to help with this?
Anyone, guys? The question is already in the chat box, but everyone, you can even repeat the question one more time. Aaron? Yes. Yeah, you can repeat the question one more time to ensure that everyone got okay. you. Okay. Uh, there is a broker in challenge document in task 2.3, integration testing. Uh, I want to understand the database and storage and performance optimization, how we do it and why we need to use it. Anyone can elaborate it? Sure, anyone? Anyone, guys, or do we have him Tina or Rehmet here? So, uh, Arun is just asking you, there are a lot of databases because databases are there just to pick every database have its pros and cons, and uh, in task it's asking you to choose from these technology tools that are out there, the best one for fetching the data fastly in user ask question. So it's just a research, the research that you have to make to make sure your RAG pipeline is as efficient as possible in different criteria. In the database efficiency of data transfer, uh, just something you have to pick a good tool to is, is, is the database used for the vector database or uh, the, the vector document database. storage? Okay. The vector database. The document you will store the vector database, right? Okay. So. Okay. Thank you. Over to you, Pascal. Okay, amazing. Thank you, and uh, Rahmet. All right, Aaron, I hope everything is clear now. Let's move on to Daniel. Daniel, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. I'm okay, you can go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, I was just trying to just clear up uh, some concepts that I did not get on the on our last uh, projects, and today I will just try to continue on uh, preparing the report and uh, to have uh, uh, continue on the understanding the business objective. And hopefully, I will start the technical part as well. And this is my update for now. All right, keep it up to Daniel. Uh, we have a few people who haven't shared yet. Magdes. Okay, hello everyone. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yesterday, I worked through the resources that has been shared. And also, I have some, like, uh, try to understand uh, what the challenge is. That's all. OK, and uh, what is the plan today? Like, uh, try to have a structure of the code for the project and starting, like, maybe is retrieving the data. That's the plan. All right, keep it up, make this. Uh, yep, I believe everyone else shared in the chat box. Thank you, everyone, for sharing. Uh, Rahmet. Would you like to take the time for any point of discussion? Or if anything is clear, then we can call it a day for now. 
Yeah, I, I don't have much to say. It's not a new project or the concept is not new. So if you have any questions, uh, we have tomorrow a Q&A session. So I think you should take this time to work on the project. Yes, there's no tutorial today, Fanny. The same concept that you have been given so far. So uh, there's no need for tutorials. You just have to improve yourself. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rahmet. Yes, uh, there are no technical tutorials, only non-technical ones. Yep, that is it. Thank you, everyone, for joining today's stand-up. Uh, let's go and nail today. All right, have a good day, everyone.